when a vendor sends you an invoice for purchased goods. This can be entered into Adagio to finalize costs. There are two different ways to enter a vendor invoice into Adagio purchase orders. One way is if a packing slip comes with a goods receipt and the final invoice with costs arrives later. To confirm or change these costs or any other additional charges, either click the Invoice Adjustment button on the toolbar or from the Edit menu select Invoices Adjustments. This will open the Receipts Primary Vendor screen from which you can locate the desired receipt either by clicking the Find button or by scrolling on a full or filtered list of receipts. Then click the Invoice Adjustment button. All information from the receipt will be carried over, including the receipt number as the original document, and any attached PDFs when Adagio Doc Store is integrated. If the final invoice contains goods from two or more receipts, you may invoice all the items from the Combining Invoice Adjustment button, where a list of other receipts for this primary vendor are listed. Select one to combine and click the Add Lines button to copy the details into this invoice. Additional receipts may also be combined as needed. On the Details tab, for inventory and sundry items, only costs, costing lot, or base price are editable. If a different vendor will be invoiced than what was previously entered, it can be changed here if a company profile option to allow vendor change on invoice has been enabled. Editing items is not required when creating invoices, unless you need to change the cost information. New items cannot be added to invoices, but miscellaneous charges can be, for additional shipping or other charges. In the unlikely event that the vendor invoice does not contain all received items, those not received should be deleted from this invoice. On the Totals tab, a breakdown of information by vendor is available. The vendor document type will be invoice and non-editable, and delivery note will be the original document type. The invoice number will be carried over from the delivery note, but it can be edited if necessary. Terms will be calculated from the vendor document date, and any taxes will also be displayed. An Edit Tax checkbox is available to use to make minor adjustments to the tax jurisdiction amount if what is shown here does not match the invoice received from the vendor. The View tab shows a preview of the transaction as a specification form. And the Data Flow tab shows all associated purchase orders and receipts being invoiced. And clicking on a receipt will show that document's total information. When you are satisfied that all necessary changes have been made, click the Post button. If no cost changes were made to any items and no new miscellaneous charges were added, a message will appear to indicate this and to confirm that the delivery note amount is the final invoice. Whether or not costs were changed, the document number screen will appear, with the next invoice number within the format defined in the entry template. After posting, cost changes will be saved on items for the total cost and costing lot if applicable. Day end processing will write any cost change amounts to the ledger retrieval batch and create payables invoices with the full cost amounts. The other way to enter a vendor invoice is if the packing slip that came with the received goods is also the final invoice. In this scenario, from the Purchase Orders tab, you should locate the outstanding purchase order, click the Receipt button, and as part of the Receipt procedures, ensure that on the Totals tab, 
the vendor document type is invoice. Therefore, posting this receipt and running day and processing will treat the vendor transaction as an invoice, but stored on the receipts list. If a partial or full invoice has already been posted against the selected receipt, then when clicking the Invoice Adjustment button, a message will appear that something has already been posted. And if all items for all vendor delivery notes have been invoiced, another message will indicate this status as well. When you continue, you are entering a new adjustment to the receipt. As with invoices, only costs can be changed on existing items, or new miscellaneous charges may be added to adjustments. In fact, if all received items have been invoiced, you won't be able to save the adjustment unless there are cost changes to make. On the Totals tab, for each vendor, whether or not items were adjusted, the vendor document type will be an adjustment, and the original document type is an invoice. When you post these changes, the next invoice adjustment number will appear in the same document format from the entry template, and the updated costs will be updated on items and ledger transactions, and a debit note will be created in Adagio Payables. Confirm your purchase costs by posting final invoices and adjustments. Find out more about Adagio from the product page on our website. Watch another training video on this Adagio program from the playlist, or subscribe to the Adagio YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.